Baccarat Rouge. This is probably the most popular perfume nowadays. Everybody speaks about it. Some people love it, some people hate it, some people don't get it. So I'm going to tell you why it is so special and how to approach it to really appreciate it. We're also going to talk about some dupes and I will answer your questions in the comments if you have any. Uh, first of all, let me tell you the story how I discovered Baccarat Rouge. I was walking around the department store and I was smelling different fragrances. When I came close to Baccarat Rouge, I smelled it off the cup and I felt nothing. I'm like, hmm, strange, maybe I just had too many fragrances already. So I sprayed it on a blotter and I put that blotter in my purse. When I came home, I left blotters in my bathroom and I kind of forgot about them for a bit. And then at one moment, I walked back in and I was like, wow, what is that wonderful smell? It's kind of very, very feminine and floral and fruity and so hard to describe. And I realized that that was a blotter of Baccarat Rouge. Then I went back to the department store and I decided to spray the perfume on my skin. Here I am. So when you spray it, it doesn't smell anything special. It smells very weak and a lot of people say they don't even feel it at all. But they always say they still get a lot of compliments from people around them. So I sprayed it and I walked out. I did not try any other fragrances at the same time. And while I was walking outside, the wind was bringing me something beautiful. And I recognized that this is Baccarat Rouge that I smelled off the blotter in my toilet. But I could not smell it off the cup and I could not smell it off my skin right away. So what's going on? That's when I started realizing that Baccarat Rouge and many other fragrances of Maison Francis Courjean, they actually act very different kind of against the law of physics. A normal fragrance would be very strong from the beginning, especially around your skin, and would weaken when it goes further away and when you wear it longer. That's a normal way. But Baccarat Rouge is totally different. It's kind of weak when you spray it, and it's not very strong close to your skin. But it kind of jumps off your skin and expands into the air. And that's why it impresses other people, but you yourself might not feel it so well. So that day, I thought that this perfume is like a ghost. It's like here and there, but you cannot really smell it on yourself. And I tell you that I was getting a lot of compliments. I was thinking, should I buy the full bottle or not? Do I really like it that much? And I thought to myself, hmm, I cannot say that I'm crazy about it, but I do like it. So finally, I got 11 ml travel size bottle and I got a sample of Extra de Parfum, just to see the difference between the two. If you look at the pyramid of Eau de Parfum and Extra de Parfum, you will see some differences, but I could say that I don't really feel them so much when I'm wearing it. Yes, Extra de Parfum is a little bit stronger, but just tiny bit. The difference is not as much as you would expect. So without looking at the pyramid, I'll tell you what I was feeling in Eau de Parfum. My first idea was there are some blooming flowers in here. It's like, uh, you know, when you have a lot of uh, fruit trees that are blooming in spring, like cherry blossom, pears, apricots, and you just walk around those fields with a lot of trees blooming at the same time. And this is something in the air. That's what I thought it smells like. Then I was catching a bit of jasmine and I was thinking in the direction of almond, but I could not uh, understand what kind of almond it is. It's not a typical almond that you have in fragrances. First, I was thinking that it sounds a bit like almond flour, the one that I used to make French macarons, or it also sounds like um, almond nuts that you just get fresh off the tree that are not even ripe yet. They're kind of green and milky. And I'm talking about Eau de Parfum, an almond is not even listed in the pyramid. And I cannot say that Extra de Parfum has stronger almond. Listing it does not make it stronger. It is still here and not here. It's a kind of a little hint of almond, I would say. And when it comes to the base, this is another part that is very unique about Baccarat Rouge. The base is kind of invisible. It's not a kind of amber or mask that you really feel that interferes with other notes. I could not guess ambergris because with ambergris, I get more of a, a saliva going on. If you don't know, ambergris is a sort of secretion of digestive system of whales 
they call it a vomit of uh, sperm whales and it's a very expensive material that is so widely used in perfumery nowadays it's used to create that uh, animalistic sexiness and attraction the effect that ambergris has on me it kind of makes my saliva going and here I did not have that effect, so I did not catch amber green here. But some people say that it is addictive indeed. So maybe there's just not enough amber green for me, and that's why I was thinking amber mask or amber and mask. I think Baccarat Rouge is a sexy perfume, but not sexy in a magnetic way, but sexy in a sensual way. But the main reason I like it is because it's my perfect perfume for layering. First of all, it's a very light floral that is very easy to match with other fragrances. And second, and this is the main reason why it's so perfect for layering, is that I call Baccarat Rouge a heavy lifter. You know, I already told you that the molecules, they kind of jump off your skin and open up a bit away from your skin. I have some perfumes that are more intense on my scale of intensity, but they don't project so well. They kind of stay closer to my skin. And that's when Baccarat Rouge does the heavy lifting. I add a little spray of Baccarat Rouge on top and the molecules of Baccarat Rouge, they lift the other perfume and they help to spread it around. And that's what heavy lifting means for me. Another comment that I would like to address that people make about Baccarat Rouge is that it smells like latex or like dental office. Uh, yes, there is something like that about it, but it's not obvious, it's not strong, it does not bother me. But when I had COVID, my perception of fragrances changed. And when I smelled Baccarat Rouge, I was getting real latex in it. And luckily my nose did recover after COVID and my perception of my fragrances, of my favorite fragrances was back. And that latex feeling disappeared again and I could smell Baccarat Rouge the way I did before the COVID times. Ariana Grande Cloud is probably the most frequently mentioned as a dupe for Baccarat Rouge. And it's kind of sad because this is a nice fragrance on its own, but it had to piggyback on popularity of Baccarat Rouge and it probably would not be as famous if Baccarat Rouge did not exist. In fact, these two perfumes are very different. Cloud would be a great choice for people who like quiet, musky fragrances, especially if the budget is limited. But do not buy it if you think that this is a substitute for Baccarat Rouge. The only thing that Cloud has in common with Baccarat Rouge is that it becomes more voluminous as it projects off your skin. It actually smells nicer around you and this is a kind of paradox that both perfumes have in common. It's actually difficult to describe how it smells. Imagine marshmallows, cotton candy, shredded coconut, mix it very very well together and take only 10% of its intensity. You can also recognize a bit of lavender, but this is a kind of lavender that is swimming in milk. Or maybe it's lavender shower gel that you smell on your skin after taking a shower. In any case, all these notes are very subtle and their sweetness is kind of taken away. They turn into powdery cloud. That's why cloud, I think, is a really perfect name for this perfume. You might think that this is a great deal because you get about 30 ml for $30, but think twice. To impress other people around you, you need to spray five, six times to have a real cloud that is beyond your personal space. While Baccarat Rouge is a fragrance that you don't need a lot, and not only it creates a cloud around you, but it projects very, very far. But since both perfumes are very low on their level of intensity, I'm impressed by their lasting power. Even Ariana Grande, yes, you do need to spray a lot of it, but it will last you five, six hours. Considering that it's a very quiet perfume, this is a lot. And Baccarat Rouge is just beyond any law of physics. Another fragrance that is very often mentioned as a dupe of Baccarat Rouge is Burberry Herb. And it's also created by Francis Courjean, but I would not say that these fragrances are alike. Burberry Her is a fragrance that acts in a very classical way. You put it on your skin, it's pretty intense at the beginning, but then it wears out and it weakens as it projects further away from your skin. That's a classical behavior of any fragrance. Baccarat Rouge, as I told you, does not act the same way. The only thing that they have in common is that both perfumes are kind of mysterious. It's very difficult to identify the notes unless you read the pyramid. 
I love Burberry hair, and if I tell you that there are strawberries and peaches and champagne and yogurt and milkshake, you're gonna believe me. But at the same time, these notes are there and not there. Burberry Her is also very feminine. It's a kind of fragrance you can wear all year long. It's a kind of fragrance that everybody likes. If I had to do the rating of best value for the money, this would probably be one of the top three. So it is in the list of my recommendations, but it is very far from Baccarat Rouge. And the last fragrance that is mentioned as a dupe is Mabusan in red. This one is totally from another planet, so I have no idea how somebody decided to compare it to Baccarat Rouge. Maybe because of the red color. The pyramid of this fragrance is actually very interesting. And when I saw it, I thought, okay, these are the notes I'm gonna like. But in reality, I didn't. I find it to be very badly made. The fruitiness here is very distant. What dominates the perfume is soapy mask and abraxan. And these two, they kind of make it uh, chemical and not likable for me. Well, I think I have told you everything I know and everything I think about Baccarat Rouge and the dupes. Let me know if you have any questions or comments.